Noni? What's good, everybody? It is your boy Cal back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys. Uh, hey, we are here to compare what I feel are the two best awoken skills in Xenoverse 2 at this point in time, and that is Super Saiyan Blue and Purification. Super Saiyan Blue honestly took the top over Super Saiyan Blue Evolution with this free update just due to the changes that came to meditation now even though we found that infinite meditation tech it still is not the most viable awoken skill i guess you could say because you have to run so much on your build just to be uh able to keep that awoken skill going so for that reason i do think that blue is the more viable and better overall transformation between those two and after this update purification was buffed yet again and finally has just become absolutely amazing like it is insanely good after this free update as you guys saw if you did watch that video that i did on purification now we will be doing this a little bit differently than usual guys usually when it comes to the uh the skill test we always go into the training mode um when it comes to awoken skills we find the percent differences doing uh doing the combos and, and things like that but since we've done videos on Super Saiyan Blue and Purification recently, we're just going to talk about the percent differences that you get. Instead of going into training, that'll just take much longer. And again, we did videos on those recently where we pretty much did that exact thing. So it's pretty much a refresher, I guess you could say, on the damage buffs. But we're also going to talk about the other positives and negatives that come with these builds before taking them online and truly uh, discussing which one is the best. So... Starting out with Super Saiyan Blue, as you guys see on the screen with Super Saiyan Blue, you get a 25% boost to your uh, strike and basic attacks. You get a 20% boost to your key based attacks. Now your stamina increase is very, very nice. I am not going to lie. Like honestly, it makes it to where pretty much like when you're in the air, you're almost getting the same amount of stam regen as you would on the ground in base form. That's how good the stam regen gets boosted when in Super Saiyan Blue. So that is definitely something that is amazing about the transformation. But another positive that you do get from it is your speed does increase from base form. Of course, that is one change um, that also comes with Super Saiyan Blue. But those are the positive things that come with Blue. Great damage increase, stamina increase, which is absolutely amazing, and your speed, uh, basic speed boost as well. Now, moving on to Purification, guys. Purification, in terms of the damage increase, it has the highest damage increase in the game 44 percent boost to your strike base skills and 40 percent boost to your key base skills now your basics not really it's undeterminable i guess you could say you can't really find that out just due to the simple fact that the combos change and in this game different combos do different types of damage like someone's basic may be lower but if their combo type can do or or combo hits harder they could potentially do the same amount of damage as someone who has a higher attack stat so again you can't really test the combos because the combos do actually change they're not the same as opposed to pearl flash and vanishing ball you can just put those on the regular male margin transform and then see the percent difference between regular and purification which is exactly what i did so again 44% boost to your strike and 40% to your key base. But other positives that you get from this build, guys, because there is a super soul that honestly, or I shouldn't say from this build, from this awoken skill. There's a super soul for this awoken skill that to me is like, it's part of it. Like this is the one awoken skill that I would say is like part of a transformation in the game. And that's just due to the simple fact that it makes purification so good. If this was a super soul for any awoken skill, you would be running it on that awoken skill because of how good it is. And that super soul is the he 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 thing. It's kid boost, and you get a uh, boost to your normal attacks, your basic, by an XL amount. You reduce the damage taken from all attacks by a large amount, and you activate key out of recovery mode. And this is at all times once you are in purified mode. Those boosts right there honestly take the transformation to a whole nother level it is so good all around due to that specific fact on top of the fact that it recovers stamina 
unlike any other character in this game. When you are using moves or getting hit or anything along those lines, like actually doing something besides kind of standing still within a Xenoverse 2 fight, your stamina does not come back when you're flying or when you're like dashing around and, and like punching your opponent or getting punched. Or when you're getting punched, it comes back. When you're punching your opponent, using moves, using a Kamehameha, ultimate, anything like that, your stamina does not come back. That is not the case with purification. Purification, your stamina is going to be coming back at all times, whether you're attacking or not. So that part is just honestly very, very good and different from other characters. And then, like I said, all the other things that come with the Super Soul, plus the damage boost that you already get in purification, the positives for it are definitely very, very good without doubt. Now, moving on to the negative sides of Super Saiyan Blue. You have your key drain, but at the same time, I'm kind of going to cancel that out, I guess you could say, because just like Purification has a Super Soul that is pretty much part of it, I feel Super Saiyan Blue does as well, and that's any Super Soul that offers key auto regen. If it offers key auto regen throughout the match, that Super Soul is definitely one for Super Saiyan Blue. You may not be getting any kind of damage boost or anything like that, but you need that key auto regen just to make sure that your key is not going down at any point throughout the match. So again, the Super Soul that goes with Super Saiyan Blue to me is like more of a negative side because it's not really a Super Soul you would use unless you're using Super Saiyan Blue. The Super Soul for Purification is a Super Soul you would want if possible for any character within the game that's how good it truly is now the other negative for super saiyan blue is you get a slight decrease to your defense it isn't the biggest in the world but you take slightly more damage um so that is a negative side to it but when it comes to the purification and the negatives that go along with that there's one major issue that i would have and that is just the kid boo combos and the moves and even more so the move set than anything else if we kept the kid boo combos i wouldn't be that bothered but if the moves did not change purification without doubt would be the best skill in the game as far as awokens go the only thing that's holding it back is the simple fact like i said is that the move set changes and that's what makes it questionable as to which is better between blue and purification in my opinion now another negative thing that goes along with purification though but it's like a negative positive i guess you could say because you can use it in certain situations to catch your opponent off guard and kind of troll them but at the same time it takes away your key cancel and that's when you use the key blast and purification your foot goes through the ground and appears under them so it's not a regular key blast it's very different and the fact that it is different can get you in trouble sometimes but it can also help you in sometimes as well like i've noticed when i do play kid boo i mean uh pure forgot my purified majin cac i try to key cancel a lot and i do that all the time and sometimes it works out and i actually hit my opponent and i'm able to still get away nice and clean but sometimes it puts me in a position where i'm just stuck there because i thought i was trying to key cancel and the fact that I didn't key cancel, I'm wide open. And then also, if your opponent knows this about the Kid Boo purification, then they will be, they, they'll play it a little bit differently. They won't look for key cancels. They'll know they'll be able to punish you in more situations where a normal person would key cancel out of it. So that is definitely a negative side to it. But I, like I said, also, it can be positive if used in certain ways. So that's everything as far as these two skills go in terms of their positives and negative so what we're gonna do now guys is go online and whichever skill or whichever cac i guess you could say you see come out in this match is the one that i think is better between super saiyan blue and purification now do not get me wrong both of these skills are absolutely amazing but there definitely is one that i feel is better between the two so before we go online you know we gotta go in strong let's get a few moments later. Alright, y'all. As you see, I have chosen my Saiyan CAC, which means I do think that the um Super Saiyan Blue is the better awoken skill between the two transformation guys. But I will say, purification is definitely not that far behind at all, in my opinion. It literally is really, really close with Super Saiyan Blue. It's just there are some things that I do think hold purification back, which we're gonna go over after I beat this man's ass real quick. Come in, my boy. Keep taking this beat down. Keep take. I, I need to get some keys though. I need to get get me out of there. No, no, no. Come here. Knock away. Let me let me let me meditate because I don't have any charge. Oh, I do have ultimate charge. I should have used that. Damn. All right, it's all good though. I got a meditation off and I got my five bars now. Now we just need to knock this man away again, 
and then transform but again like i said we'll go over why i do think that it is slightly better than purification after this match right here but let's finish this beat down on this man humbles i'm gonna have to humbly beat your ass oh hold on i just realized my stamina is not in a good position what's good no 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 you, you thought i see you just waiting for that stamina i need come here my boy knock you up and then hit you with divinity oh damn oh he got that's right that's right he got a two bar evasive forgot I still don't like that change, to be honest. It, it makes no sense to me. Why would you make the evasives be two bars? Oh, stamina. Oh, I wanted to stamina break you right up your ass. But why would you make the evasives two bars if a vanish is two bars? Like, that, I, I still don't understand that to this day, why they did that to some evasives within this game. But again, man, like I said, I do think blue is better than purification, guys. What the hell? Failed to upload. Okay, I don't care. Um, But I do think Super Saiyan Blue is better for a couple reasons and it's really not anything that's on super saiyan blue side as opposed to what's on purification side if purification did not put you into a preset move set it would without doubt in my opinion be the best transformation within the game it would be the best awoken skill because you get such damage increase from it the super soul for it is absolutely unreal like it is honestly really really good even with the preset moveset from Kid Buu, it is still absolutely amazing. I was able to pull off some out of this world comebacks in the streams, which if you guys do want to come through the viewer battles, the uh, link to the stream is down below in the description. Website starts with a T, ends with H. Can't say it as I've said many times in the past because YouTube will strike me. But made some insane comebacks really just due to purification due to the fact that my defense took the boost my stamina was always recovering even when i was comboing and then the damage that i was getting from the uh purification as well was just absolutely insane so even though it may not be the best it is definitely right there with super saiyan blue and if you could actually change your move set guys i truly think that it would be better than blue without doubt because could you imagine like having purification where it is now then having some moves like a times 10 or kyle can come out my high on it or something like like that or just moves like heat blast cannon to keep calm like you could do so much and the build and awoken would just be so nasty so i kind of understand why there is a preset moves that with how good they've made it at this point in time but let me know what you guys think about these two skills guys do you think that they're definitely the two best awoken skills in the game like i do myself because like i said in the blue evolution video the thing with that awoken skill it's great for offline but when it comes to online man you really don't want to have to set half of your preset just to surrounding super saiyan blue evolution and keeping it going so for that simple fact, I just do not like Blue Evolution that much more when it comes to an online setting. But in an offline setting, like I said in the past video about it, I still do think it's very good. But Purification is very good all around. Even in offline, you have Super Vanishing Ball for extra missions, raids, things like that, which is a great extra mission and raid move. And you're going to be getting good damage as well. So again, man, it is to me, without doubt, the second best Awoken, but still at the top range super saiyan blue mainly because of the whole move set thing with purification but like i said earlier let me know you guys thoughts on these two awoken skills and as always man thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time hope you have a good day peace y'all